Printing can take a while, so to help us out we can use page setups. Once they're set, we can publish several drawings at once. It allows us to print more than one drawing at a time. Now the best part is that you don't have to open up all the drawings, or really open up any of them. You just assign them to a list, go to the Publish Manager, and tell it to do its job. We have the Publish Manager inside AutoCAD. You can open up while you're in any file and have it print any tab from any drawing, regardless if you have it opened or not. This is one of the reasons we use CAD. So let's start by just opening up a blank template file. And to get to the publisher, just type in the word publish. That will bring up the publish manager. Now you can also get to it through the application menu. Go to the publish option here and just click on publish. It opens up the same thing. Now by default, when you open up publish manager, it will automatically load the current file into your publishing list in order to print it out. I'm going to remove these. You just select them and then you click on this minus sign. You can also right click and say remove. Now if you want to add files, click on this green plus sign right here, and let's add the architectural annotation, architectural example file, color wheel, and the dimension example. So you just hold down the shift key and select each one. They'll be shown in the list here, and it asks you if you want to include model and layout. I just want to include the layout or the paper space tabs. Click the select button, and they will automatically be added to your list right here. Now if you have a page set up in each of these files, that will be added to it right here. You see here it says default none, so we'll need to set some up in those files. If I select right here, this will bring up an arrow where I can go and find a page set up in that file and assign it and use it. So if you don't have your page set up assigned to that specific tab, but you do have some in the files, you can use them. Now if you don't have any, you can go to the import button here, browse to a file that has the right page set up, and use that one. When I click on the publish button, it will print each one of these files in this order. So if I don't like the order, if I want my color wheel to come up first, I just select it, and then I can come up to this button here, and it will move it up, or it will move it down in the proper order. Or if I click and hold, I can just drag it up or down. If I need to print more than one set of these drawings, you know, more than one copy, I can come down here and tell it one, two, three, however many I want to print out, which is fantastic. And it will automatically collate these for you. Now you can choose the publish and background option. You can choose to put in a plot stamp. If you're plotting to a PDF or DWF, if you click this button, it will automatically open up the file when you are done creating your published document. If you're just printing to your printer, there's nothing to open up, so that won't affect it in any way. You can save your list that you make. So if I say, yes, I like all of these files here, and I am going to need to print them again because it's a project, click on this little save icon, and I save the list as a DSD file. And I'll save it somewhere with my project files so that all I'll have to do is load it in later on. In fact, let's show you. If I select this here, I'm going to browse to my project folder. I'm going to call this Project Files and click Save. So now this is saved. If I were to remove all of these, and the next time I want to work with those, print them out, I just come here to the Load Sheet List, browse to where it is, select it, click Load. That's fine. It tells me, hey, there's a conflict. It's going to change the settings. That's okay and it's going to load it up for me, and I'm ready to go. I just hit publish, and I'm ready to print. So that's really nice. It's a big time saver. There are a lot of things that you can do to help yourself out. Now, if you don't want to print to paper, but you want all of these to print to a PDF, you can come up to here, publish to the plotter, to DWF, DWFX, or a PDF. Once you do that, the number of copies obviously is grayed out. It's only going to make one. Now you have some precision here, and it just depends on your settings. Typically I go with none. I don't need to be at that precise with some of my settings. And I can print and go. Now I have other options right here. So if I click on the publish options, I can tell it where to save this file at. I can tell it if it's a multi-sheet file or if it's going to be a single sheet. 
Now the difference there is I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drawings. I can put them all into one PDF file, or I can make each one of them a single PDF file, one for each drawing. One isn't better than the other, it just depends on what you need. Typically, if I have a set of drawings, I need to send the entire set to whomever it is, a client, a city, municipality, whatever it is. And I will typically print these to a multi-sheet file. That way it's only one PDF file and they have all the drawings in the set. I can prompt for a file name or I can specify it right here if I'd like. I can include layer information or not. And I can password protect the file if I want to and so on. When I'm finished, click OK. When I'm ready, I just click Publish. So the Publish Manager is a really cool tool that you can use to save time, especially when you have multiple drawings that you need to print. The alternative is to open up each one of your files one at a time and go through the printing process manually one at a time. So if you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 or more sheets, that can take a long time. When I do this, I can just start to publish all 50 of them. I can even publish them in the background and I can continue working on another project while these are printing. 